shotguns. This weapon category has very mixed opinions. Some think they're busted, some think they're garbage, and some think that they're not overpowered nor underpowered. Either way, shotguns are an interesting weapon category to use. If you know how to use them, they can be actually pretty powerful and also quite fun to use. But how do you use them? Well, let's get into that. Now, I'm assuming everybody knows what a shotgun is and how it works, so before we just jump in guns blazing, then it's important to step back and learn a bit about the various shotguns, because believe it or not, they are all different in their own way. So here's a chart of which range each shotgun specializes in, and this is not something I'm just making up. This chart was carefully handcrafted with hours of thought put into it. See, the thing with shotguns is that they all don't have the same spread. Shotguns like the DBB-12 and KSG have a very wide spread, while shotguns like the 7s and KS-23M have tight spread, making them viable at longer ranges. Now I know all this may seem untrue at first, but trust me, if you use any mid or long range shotgun in close quarters, then sure you might still get the kill, but it's way harder to hit the shot because of the tight spread. I would recommend pairing your shotgun with a secondary that is good at the range that your shotgun is not. For example, if you're using the Stevens, then I would pair it with either an automatic pistol or if you're feeling special, you can pair it with another shotgun, aka the Sawed-Off. Now I know you're all hyped and ready to just spawn in and shoot everyone, but like any weapon, then having the right attachments is essential for good performance. A lot of the attachments that are good on a big portion of the other types of guns are actually not that great on shotguns. See, most shotguns, except for the Spaz-12, Saiga-12, and A-12s are single fire, then attachments such as muzzle brakes, compensators, and any recoil reducing grip become absolutely useless. The reason they become useless is because their effect simply doesn't help you out in any way. Now you may be thinking, well, if the attachments I use on most other guns are useless on shotguns, then what attachments do I even put on shotguns? Well, my friend, the answer is quite simple. You just use hipfire attachments. What I mean by this is you should use attachments such as vertical and Romanian grip, maybe skeleton grip if you want the faster aiming speed, but then I would just recommend you should remove the stock instead. Muffler or other suppressors, and last but not least, lasers. Now I'm not saying you should switch your playstyle to be hipfire reliant, you can and still should aim in as it's more reliable. But sometimes you have those situations where you simply shouldn't aim in and just hipfire, and this is where the hipfire attachments come into play. Now the part everybody has been waiting for, actually shooting the shotguns. Now, shotguns are a very risk reward kind of gun, especially at close range, and to use them, you're actually gonna have to change the way you play. See, when you're using an assault rifle or other automatic weapons, then you usually shoot where your enemy currently is, but with shotguns, you have to try and think ahead. What I mean by this is that you should predict your enemy's next move and shoot where you think he's going to go. It may seem a bit silly to you at first, but this applies at all ranges. This of course becomes more important at longer ranges since your bullets actually do travel and are just hit scan. See, if you shoot where your enemy currently is, then you'll risk that only a quarter of the pellets you originally fired actually hit, and that results in you basically doing no damage and probably dying. But if you predict where your enemy is going to move, then not only will a lot of your pellets connect, but then you've basically outsmarted your opponent. Again, I know it's a risk-reward situation, and predicting Ron could get you killed, but shooting where they currently are just won't work. Don't believe me? Watch these clips. So in this clip, I've seen and figured out the route that the enemy flag carrier is taking. I then slide in the corridor and shoot instantly to catch it by surprise. I then notice a group of enemies and I could see that they are going towards that door. I then predict exactly where they will be in one second and I proceed to shoot where I predicted they were going to be. In this clip I'm walking towards the enemy base to try and kill whoever is walking in the corridors. And then I hear somebody walking up ahead and so I predict that that person is going to walk into the hallway I'm currently in. After I kill that guy I notice two enemies, one going through the hallway and one on his way towards the stairs. I once again predicted a second ahead and shot where I predicted they were going to be at that exact time. So in this last clip I'm wandering around trying to find somebody to shoot. I get shot at but pull a giant no you card on that person. I then heard somebody moving close by. I took a guess on this location and this gun pointing through the wall was, well, more than enough confirmation. I then run into this duo. The first one runs in face first and dies, but the second one manages to survive. I predict that he was going to turn around and wait for around the corner for me to pop out. While he was right, then I already had predicted that he was going to do that. 
Well, that's all for this guide. Hopefully now you know how to use shotguns properly. This guide was of course constructed on the foundation of my personal experience, but I would personally say that this guide can and hopefully has improved your shotgun game. Well with that said, if this guide was helpful then why not drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Since making videos like these is my passion and I want to keep doing it in the future so it would really help me out if you subscribed. Plus we are getting really close to 400 subscribers and when that happens my official discord server will be released. But until next time, peace.